Hey folks, Quilly King here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 3 Ads Belgium. And we are definitely nearing the end of the game here. And for good or for ill, I really want to war against a European power and see what that experience is like because we haven't done that yet. So hopefully we don't get too distracted with too many side things of building up our economy. I mean, it's not like we're not doing well. We're the fourth greatest power in the world. We're starting to close in on Russia over here. Like, come on, things are going well, but I'm... I have goals that I want to do, or at least a thing I want to do, and I hope that I successfully get the ability to attempt it. We do have a wee bit of a kerfuffleage going over here. Do we not have our troops? You are mobilized. Are you stuck? Are you already sent there? Oh, you're on your way. There it is. Okay, I see the line now. I'm like, minus 100. There's clearly no one there yet, but you are on the way, so you're going to be fine. Running a slight deficit, which seems actually pretty darn balanced for this stage of the game. So not worried about that. A bunch of electricity coming into Flanders at this point. How are you doing overall? Electricity prices are still high. Oh, of course, they haven't necessarily been filled up with jobs yet. Or have they? Could switch to coal power plant. We might do this on a state by state basis, actually. I think this would be a good idea. Decreases workers overall, like more engineers, but much fewer workers. Drop the price of electricity here. Generate a lot more the pollution enough qualifications i think you'll be fine so he's got that message and then immediately fills up i mean i don't suspect that it rehired that quickly so i'm a little yeah whatever all right all right barracks going we're not using all of our construction for government spending right now so money's gonna go up what is the state of my military now do people because we know that we know cavalry is not very strong. Do people disband their cavalry if they still had some? And just go for fully balanced? So we get these five here. I don't think like the extra terrain capture is that important. Maybe we'll queue up some more artillery though. Um, peasants unemployed. You don't have the qualifications. You know what? I think I'm going to build it anyway. And there, that's an extra 20. Oh, too many because of this. Um, oh, I don't know where it's choosing from. Oh, because of the Lancers. I'm like, hold on, now it should be okay. There we go, now we no longer complain. All right, I mean, we might add more infantry to that, but we'll just start by building those. Yeah, this front's gonna go fine, money's okay. Automobiles and oil continues to be expensive. I mean, we consider some oil rigs. Yeah, I know I keep going back and forth on this, but I'm going to go ahead and fully build these. Applications and lies. We're going to keep going with that answer and just totally dismiss the people from our colonies. Expensive telephones are expensive too. Electricity, motor industries are being built. That's good. We want that. Not enough construction capacity. I don't know if I'm going to build more, although we really could. These resources are definitely something that we're fine with. Yeah, I should. Got actual unemployment in Flanders. Oh, all right. Just going to queue up four, bring it up to 25, just because round numbers make me happy. And those were alt clicks. Yeah, okay, good. Make sure they're at the top of the queue. Little war over here, which should be trivial. Hawaii, I don't think I'm in a defensive pack with you. I don't think that's going to do much for us. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, they're not employing anything. It's... Oi. Right, it's, I think it's mostly the lack of capitalists here in Niger, which is something that in the 1.7 patch, we're not going to have to worry about it. Because the 1.7 patch, which is focused on a lot of the sphere, sphere of influence stuff, I think is going to make it so that some of these jobs don't have to be supplied locally. So I think capitalists and maybe aristocrats as well could be somewhere else. So theoretically, we could have rich, like, core Belgian people in Flanders and Wallonia over here um, acting as the capitalists for these overseas operations. And that is really the, the blocking feature. I wonder, is it worth... I'm gonna alt-click a university here. Although then I'm gonna move up the construction sectors. 
with the idea that maybe we can generate a little bit more job qualifications a little faster. Because we could definitely use it. Anyway, war is about to finish off, so that's good. Construction capacity again. We're not still not using all of our own personal stuff right now. Um, I don't know about changing this army while it's in the field, although I probably can, actually. See, we've got job seekers, but they are just working other things. Still, I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go 15 more. Um, 20, 35 in total. And a minus one this Lancer. I don't know where this was coming from. And then throw in some more artillery as well. Now, with our military, we are still running some pretty aggressive policies. I mean, we're not running the flamethrowers, but it's because of the oil consumption thing. We are going to be fighting somewhere, I suppose, where we could use some rail transport. Uh, right, because you're mobilized, but it's fine. Yep, okay. Infertile grounds. Finding both the Belgian public and supposed political allies, unreceptive as ideas, frustrated. Jacques Dultremont, who wants a presidential republic, forced to require... Oh, yeah, yeah. Let him peddle his ideas somewhere else. That's fine. Good. Poor laws. The sport's getting a little bit bigger for that. But I think we can probably still skip it. Our loyalists are actually going nuts. Oh, all of a sudden we're third most powerful. Oh, I'd have to compare it to the start of the episode. I don't know if we just shot up a bunch or if Russia just dropped a bunch. But we are the third world power here. Now, Kingdom of France is doubling us and British Republic tripling us. Unlikely that we'll go up any higher, although who knows after a little bit of warfare what might happen. And again, whether it makes sense or not, we are going to start some BS in Europe here. Oh, that's right. I'm damaging. I forgot about damaging relations in these places. So I could start some wars for oil. Something that has never been done in the history of all time. Was I going to make a move against the Ottomans or Persia? Well, did I want a toehold first? Be great to take territory from this revolt here. Or run through Jabal Shamar. Or is this just going to prove a distraction? Because I'm worried about a naval invasion not working out to give us the toehold. Maybe it'll work, but we don't really know for sure. Speaking of navy... Okay, you're building up a little bit more. You can actually consider some more ironclads in there too. Let's throw that in. Do I tear clear on Greece to go through the... No, not really. Nezd here. But you're neutral. Why can't I start a war with you? I think that we can't tell from here. I guess I can look at the interactions. We're already in a war. We already have an active diplomatic play. We have a truce with them. Okay, we did take some land from them previously. All right. Sorry, it's been several days since I recorded the last episode. So I'm having to catch myself up here. All right, barracks are a go. Up to speed five for a bit. Capitulation is done. All right. Now, if I did want to go... Conquer states. We could go for Cathedral right away, although I don't think it does much for us. And this is all Ottoman Empire. If we had an alliance with Egypt, then in theory we could deploy units on this front. God, they've got all this territory here. What about Tunis? Do you have any oil? Not that you know about. Hmm.
Maybe I should just focus on the Netherlands. I mean, they don't have oil over here. I I mean, I assume I haven't actually checked lots of industry. Wait, hold on. You do have oil rigs. What the frack? There's oil in Friesland. Oh. OK. You have a defensive pact with Belungan. Right, the Dominion stuff, but you don't have any alliances or... Uh, and what's your current military? 158 battalions. But we are building more. We might have a tech edge. I don't know. What the hell? They have oil. Well, that's very tempting. How are we making so much money while still doing construction? Jeez. Can we import telephones? Not really. We might just need more electronics industries. Just to get a few more going on. You're also building radios. I might get you to switch to just telephone production focus. Especially as we build the new ones. I think that might be a good idea. I mean, we need radio for some of our military. That is really tempting. This is starting with some shenanigans over here. They have untapped oil. Because even if we brought Persian to sphere of influence, which isn't actually an option. I mean, we don't want a treaty port, right? This is just... Single province taken war goal, purpose to trade with that country. Treaty port promotes its owner to bypass tariffs and embargoes, trading any market, same state. We would take the province, like if we treaty ported here, we would take it. Yeah, what I really want to do is a naval invasion. And just land here. Should we just YOLO it? As soon as we've got a toehold, we'll probably do okay. Um, I wonder if we should build some extra convoys before the war starts, if we're doing overseas actions. I think that might be a good idea. So with this, I kind of just want to like max out or not necessarily max out, but we're going to build a lot of ports. Get a ton of excess convoys ready to go. That I'm happy with. Private construction. Hey, you're building some railroads. Okay. And I'm sorry, was that electricity as well? No. Oh, that's my electrics industry. No, you're not building power plants. Money's going up. We've got that. Some pops are complaining about their lifestyle. That's okay. Military should be building up, although it assumes that we can get actual people to join us. Are there any... Um, oh, yeah, that's right, I can't... What I want is this... Sorry, this view, but for a single province. So I don't have to go and click on every single industry in Flanders to check their modes. I can just go and look down this view here. I guess that's not going to happen. Wallonia's got the assembly line. So does Flanders. We tried to do this. Oh yeah, it consumes more oil to activate those modes. Oi. Who knew oil could be such a valuable resource? Maybe if I'd spent less time booping around Africa, especially not in the northern coast, although I don't know if that was ever an option for me. Maybe we could have planned to move in the Middle East a little sooner to secure some oil. But I was kind of obsessed with Africa. All right, speed go up. Stormtroopers, increased kill rate. Oh, baby. Okay. Two, these blaster shots are too accurate for sand people. Chemical warfare, just flat out defense, war machines for airplanes. And we are, oh yeah, we already have flamethrowers. Actually, I think the NCO training would be insanely potent. I don't really want to delay the war. I wonder about starting this one. Then we, ha we don't have a numbers advantage against Amsterdam, but theoretically our tech rate should be pretty good. 
I've been trying to make it better this time around. Okay, more electrics. Hopefully you guys are hiring. I mean, number go up, number go up. Okay, good. I mean, telephones are still expensive in the market, but the price is going down. And those should be very profitable businesses. Yeah, we're going to crack down on the Belgian workers. East Hosseland Pipeline. Oil companies have been requesting government assistance and funding a pipeline, promising that its construction will be accompanied by other infrastructure improvements. Spend money, get permanent infrastructure boost. Yeah, you know what? We got the money. It'd be nice if it actually, like, gave us more oil somehow. But the infrastructure is going to be helpful in a lot of these places. When is this job all? Okay, you know what? I probably have some info to spare. Oh, we don't actually. Hold on. Cancel. So I want to expel to bring those numbers down faster, but apparently that's not going to be an option for us. Um, these guys who are neutral, maybe what I can do is I can stop damaging these relations. Because if we end up with some extra influence, our infamy will decay faster. There, we'll just keep that. Fruitful endorsements. Sure, all intelligentsia all the time. All right, ports. Yeah, we just want to generate spare convoys. Anything else in I mean, there's a lot of entries in there. Destroyer warfare. If we're at war, destroyers. Submarines, plastic production. Houseware, plastics. Um, what what building is this? Glassworks. Oh, but again, it's going to consume a crap ton of oil, and then tank the price of glass. Yeah, that's not helpful. Can't do that. Oh, this one's okay. Coal consumption go up, but it'll free a few workers. Yeah, I'm going to force it to happen. Yeah. There you go. Put you on publicly traded. Get you all the same. Um, uh, that'll tank the price of engines. Although, then more people can go to automobile because the price for that is quite high. Hold on. I'm going to force this. Everyone go to electric. Okay. Some states don't have electricity, so they can't. And then... Okay. We can't do it everywhere. We'll do... A little bit more here. Okay. So, what state doesn't have electricity then? Chad. I'll click get you a power plant started. Just make sure you get the option. And then, yes, we got electricity shortage in a few places. Um, I think the easiest way for me to resolve this actually was to go into the market screen, scroll down to electricity, sort by local price, and then how much extra electricity is that? 50? We see you need quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five would add another 250. There'll still be a shortage, but, well, there'll still be a deficit, but hopefully that eliminates the shortage. 50 here, one, two, three, that's 150 here, one, two, three, 150 here, um, and then one in outer hustle line. The private industry may pick up on it as well, but let's start with that. Italy sides with Morocco against the British Republic. Oh my, there's some things brewing. We're still at a righteous government, so no desire to make any changes there. Build those power plants quickly. How's the infamy? Still not great. The fact that we're imposing is dramatically decreasing the rate at which we burn off infamy. Which is... Actually, we're... 
frack. Yeah, we are very slowly burning that off. That's incredibly frustrating. Because you know we're going to get a lot going after the Netherlands. Because Friesland isn't adjacent to us, so we probably want two provinces. Well, maybe we just start a world war. I guess maybe I should be looking at... Um, who might be... Ooh. France? Oh. Why is it green? That's annoying. Sweden would say yes. Spain with a favor. Why is France green if they wouldn't say yes even with... I mean, maybe it's technically legal, but that's actually really frustrating color coding. Right? I'm not alone in that. That seems insane. Uh, yeah, oh, it's totally not slavery. Shut up, you guys. It's totally not slavery. I don't know what you're talking about. America going after Sindh. Where have I seen that happen before? Well, we were playing as the Seek, but still. All right, money's still positive, which is kind of a little crazy to me. But yeah, the, our go time target might be the NCO training. Because unlocking a new mode... Yeah, unlocking a new mode for our troops might be really strong. I wonder if I can just build a ton more coal mines and then switch more of the electrical buildings over to coal powered. Out of curiosity, if we went and switched... Oh, um... Let me hold off on that. Is the power not in? Oh, there it is. If I did this, what would happen to the price of coal? Actually, it doesn't look like it would go to shorter status, although engines would be an issue. I guess that was the problem before. If I do this, then you don't have to build all these power plants. Because you're actually fine. Okay, Bannon's got too many power plants. I guess this is what I get for not switching to it earlier. I mean, I know they say they're going to lose money, I think because the price of coal is quite high. Electricity shortage. Do you have a power plant yet? You do. There we go. Now you don't have a shortage anymore. Absalan, uh, you do already have one. Again, we can switch you here. Electricity is still expensive here, so you still want to build some, but maybe not as many. Local balance. Yes, yeah, so we've built three more. That's another 150. You'd, you'd still have a deficit, but it wouldn't be too bad. And I assume we do have to follow up with building uh, some coal here because... Actually, the coal price is not skyrocketed. Oh, mm, it is. Well, maybe it's... Is it just showing me the, the local price? Maybe that's what was going on there. So let's build a smattering of coal mines. I'm actually going to alt-click a few to start off with before we finish more of these power plants, some of which may use coal. And then I'll probably add some to the bottom of the queue afterwards. If we take a look at coal, we've got a deficit of 8,000. Oh, so we could literally build all the coal mines. And the issue being overall population. I don't suppose more people might be willing to join our sphere of influence. No. Mostly because I'm like, maybe we can get some extra immigrants or something like that. Okay, how far are we from finishing this tech? 21 months. Not bad. A little under two years. We still have this infamy. This is going to be a big issue. It is dropping, but really not as fast as I want. 
Yeah, we're just going to YOLO war against the Netherlands and see what that does to the political situation in Europe. Probably half of Europe will join against us, but we'll see. How's our rating? Okay, still just barely ahead of Russia. We are going up, but so are they. Our GDP is more than double theirs, though, and the sphere of influence, or standard living, I always do that. Actually, is our standard living the highest in the world? Current is actually 15th overall. Oh, but in terms of the big boys, ours is quite high. Oil continues to be expensive. Coal is a little pricey as well, although arguably manageable. These guys don't actually have... Let me cancel that power plant in chat because they're not actually complaining about a shortage anymore. I'll finish these because we've already got some decent progress on it. I think I still want those ports for the convoy buffer, especially if we're doing overseas actions, which probably makes more sense. Although I forget. No, they've got oil. Out of curiosity, if we were... I guess I can't really test. 26 infamy. Do that. And if we're going to add the second one, yeah, we're definitely going to go to full bad boy status. Ugh. Can I take just Friesland? I mean, I guess so. The contiguous stuff doesn't matter that much. They're going to have ports. We'll go around. You've got coal mines there, but no, I want this because I want your oil rigs. And it's fine, because I can declare war for this and then still have the shared border. Yeah, okay. Power plants, ports. I might not need as much port production, actually, if I'm not doing a big naval invasion and worried about getting supplies to something that's disconnected. There we go. We're still adding a few, but that's okay. And as I say that, we go negative convoys. What? There might, again, I'm wondering if it might be a trade route that's trying to upgrade itself. But what bizarre timing. Ports are on the most aggressive mode. Um, it's possible we're getting some oil shortages. We're not complaining about oil shortages, just more expensive than expected or desirable. Same with the coal. I'm going to throw a few more coal mines in here. No real unemployed. Okay. Hell on earth. That's fine. We're not going to slow down rubber production or whatever that might be for. Deficit increasing. Military goods, military wages, subsidies. Oh, yeah. Do we want to drop the power plant subsidies? I'm more the. I think most of the power plants are probably productive. Oh, okay. Actually, I should check to see if there's more oil import options. There hasn't been in the past. What about coal as well? I'm bringing 50 from there, which isn't going to do anything. And we can bring some oil in from Italy, but it's not going to help much. No one's building telephones yet either. Maybe we should just do a bunch more electrics, but again, I feel like we're kind of limited. Oil has been discovered in Chad. Whoa. Okie dokie. Wait, that went to... Niger. That's seem weird to anyone else. Yeah, you got job seekers, but no actual peasants. All right, well, we're going to max out these oil rigs. One of them already got is already here. OK, well, I mean, that's something. Can I do anything to any of your buildings? Free up some workers. I think any of those modes free up workers. The paper mill, you've already got the rotary valve engine. Building workshop, we're going to do this as well. Just looking to free up some workers so they'll be able to work in the oil rigs immediately. Transportation is cheap. That's good. Okay. Well, that I mean that's something. All right. Shrink that down. How's our NCO training? Seven months left. Now I don't know if there'll be a organization reset. Oh, oil as well. Chad. Yes. Um, migration. 
more employees. I don't know. Encourage a trend. Oil is the future. Okay, this is my public stuff. Minus 40% construction efficiency is not great, but I guess it'll do. Uh, how's the construction costs? They're fine throughout. Okay. How's my infamy? 4.3. Yeah, if we just ask for Friesland, I mean, I think it'll go up to like the first level of infamy, but it's not the, the super ultra bad guy level. 134 battalions. The Netherlands, yeah, 179. We're still just hoping for maybe a tech advantage. Army power projection of 7,400. 7,100. Very similar there. Heavy barrage mode. I don't know about reckless advance. Or pillage. Her. Now, are you guys not... What's with this number here? Oh, that's the command limit, of course. Thought, oh, you're still you're still recruiting, but no, no, we're good there. You could have more siege artillery. I know that that's not actually free and available people, but we'll throw in some more here. You want wealth voting? Um, I don't know about that one. Okay, lots of wars are kicking off. I mean, the ideal would be if at some point the Netherlands was busy in a war. Um. So the answer is, I don't think they're very busy. Okay, NCO training unlocked. I think we're going to keep grabbing here. Well, just that. That's a nice static defense. It's going to be okay. Our barracks, we're going to move everything over to this. We're going to consume more radios. We probably can switch over some electric stuff to generate more radios should the need arise. Now, did this reset your org? You actually seem fine. If I were to raise your budget, that's just for the training rate, right? Prestige, wages. We do get more morale recovery. Okay. Let's do it. We're currently not constructing, and I think that's probably okay. Money will go negative once we kick off the war. I'm assuming you're having infrastructure issues. Yeah. Ah, well, that's why you don't have any employees here. I bet you that's the case at all of these. Yep. What about Chad. I don't know. Here, you're fully employed. So I'm going to alt click you an extra railroad. Oh, um, we'll switch you to steam trains and steel transportation. Right, this is mostly messing with transportation, but I'll do it anyway. It's not actually tweaking the amount of infrastructure that's generated. Okay. Actually, let me, hang on. In places like Chad, are we better off being privately owned? Because they might not have the capitalists. That might be that might be true. Maybe I should go back and change a few of the other buildings too. Okay, we're gonna put a cut in here. I think we might just try to declare war against the Netherlands next episode. And it may go and make all of Europe join against me. In which case, so be it. We'll go out with a bang. I know we got a few years left to the game, but I'm tired of sitting on my hands. I wanna start some real kerfuffle and see how that goes. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.